Tonight, a mystery in the water. Brevard County investigators are still working to learn if a woman whose body was pulled to shore died from drowning or something else. A surfer who discovered the body floating yesterday is talking to News 6's James Barbero. Yeah, it was the last thing I expected. Hopefully I never get to experience it again. To be surfing and discover a woman's body. That's what Nick Monroe says happened to him and another surfer Tuesday at Paradise Beach. As he swam closer to what he first thought was debris, Nick says he could see her hair and clothes. Once we noticed it was a body, I kind of was disturbed. I didn't really know how to react. I was kind of frantic. Composing himself, Nick says he put her body on his surfboard and started heading to shore. We ended up having a few other surfers out there come to shore and try and clear the beach of any kids and go get the lifeguard's attention. And throughout that, I was trying to keep eye on the body and, you know, do my best to get her to shore. And the Brevard County Sheriff's Office tells us the woman was 56 years old and she was homeless. Someone still loved her, so her family or friends now can have closure knowing that she's not lost. Nick suspects the woman drowned, but her cause of death is still unconfirmed. In Cocoa Beach, police say a 17-year-old girl drowned on Saturday when she was pulled further out to sea by the rip current. You don't want to go out further than you can handle, especially when there's a swell in the water. Mother Nature is always stronger. In its preliminary investigation, the sheriff's office tells us it found no suspicious injuries or signs of trauma. An autopsy that could happen Thursday could confirm if the death was drowning. In Brevard County, I'm James Sparbero, getting results, News 6.